Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope everything is fine with you. This is your love reading using tarot and I'll try to get uh, as many details as possible. I will start by looking at the energies at this moment, the energies in the near future, the person on your on your mind and other details as well. Let's uh, start. First, let's shuffle four times the deck. I'm opening some personal readings as well. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the daily videos. Okay, let's see. Two more shuffles. Let's start with the energies around you. Nine of Wands. I think you are guarded towards something you cannot trust easily because you have been hurt emotionally, but you are still resisting there, ready or almost wanting or having no other option but to give up, but not wanting to do that. It's, there's a rapid communication possibly happening here with a person that uh, lives at a distance uh, from you, or there might be the social media communication, so communication through social media. Uh, there has been some silence between you both, but the changes are happening. Some rapid changes definitely are happening here, especially with somebody that you lost contact with. Uh, what is affecting you in your subconscious that you might not be aware of? Some of you had created either this commitment that was very serious in the past or had big dreams and hopes about building something really important. And if you had created a family with each other, you want to save that. Or you still think if there's any possibility of making uh, a past connection better. Or is it stable? Is it solid? Can it be rebuilt? Now let's see about the main challenge of the past. Uh, King of Pentacles. Either somebody was to focus at their work or they were not that serious or fear to commit, not very much focused, somehow not that responsible. And that was the main reason why it might have not worked. Now, this might have been a very good person, but uh, towards commitment, towards being uh, having clear goals, a very clear definition of what they wanted. I don't think they did that. You're hoping for changing the scene, the scenery. Uh, you want uh, a new door to be opened. You want better luck and love. You want a new, better chapter. I think you are manifesting it because you are focusing on it. And uh, you want to avoid being stuck and not progressing. You want changes, good, positive changes ahead. What you want to avoid and what you might fear is conflicts, unnecessary conflicts, in fact, that are based on egos and that destroy any possible healthy communication. Especially if somebody might have played games in the past, you don't like that. And you have a fear that uh, this kind of connection might be repeated or you are very aware and conscious not to engage or give energy to a connection like that. Now let's see about the person that is on your mind. What are their energies? They do have feelings for you. They do. Yes, they do. I have water sign here. King of Wands, they are interested. King of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Six of Wands. This person wants your attention. They want to make uh, this successful. I think this is your soulmate. Or that kind of energy, that kind of connection is very special, deep and powerful. They do have feelings. They do have attraction as well. But they are trying to first find a balance and harmony in this situation. They might want to reconcile as well as the first step. Okay, let's see about uh, what are the energies in the near future. The Hermit. The Justice. 
Nine of Pentacles, the Tower. Something is broken. I don't think, at least for the time frame of this reading, that is the second week of June 2024, uh, you uh, being in a relationship, there's more reflection, more meditation, wanting possibly to reconcile in the best case scenario if there's some communication, as we saw in the beginning here with the Eight of Wands and Knight of Wands you might still be contemplating a lot, wanting to find answers and more clarity. Balance and harmony is very important to you. Uh, focusing on yourself, uh, self-improvement, uh, having better confidence, respecting yourself more, focusing on your financial independence as well is very, very important. The tower is at the bottom. Something is broken. And what happened to this connection was not something easy or just a passing crack there. No, it was meaningful. It had an impact on the connection. And this is one side of the story. The other side is that it did reveal you so much more information and hopefully more clarity about what was going on, what was uh, underground, uh, underneath the surface, uh, was it solid uh, in its base, in its foundation or not? I think this cannot be repaired immediately, like nothing happened. It needs some time. It needs the cooperation of time to be healed, but it needs work from both of you to be repaired and recovered. Uh, it is not an easy, quick fix. That's what I'm getting but what i do like here from this person uh, or the person that is on your mind is that they have feelings they have good intentions let's see about your energies your feelings towards them uh, page of cups possibly some of you are waiting for some communication to happen or an apology uh, you want a communication of feelings to be expressed you are a bit in hesitation and indecisive at this moment but it's not uh, that you have moved on it's not that you have uh, given up no you just uh, need more clarity you have still some confusion around this connection of the past okay this was the general reading as i said i'm opening some spots for personal readings if you are interested you can send me a request at my email address Everything is in the description box below this video. Again, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every day. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can hit the like button as well. It helps a lot. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. Uh, bye for now.